Weather Authority forecast. So now the humid start across the basin, a live look at Odessa. We do notice that we have some hints of blue sky as the sun is not yet risen, but is going to rise within the next half an hour. Thanks to our roof spot, Nico Sky Tracker, to providing this lighter scene in the Midland and Odessa area. Mostly rain free conditions for now. However, that's likely to change later today as some much needed rainfall is on its way. Now, it's all because of this cold front just north of our viewing area. Out in front of it, a lot of clouds, a lot of humidity, and an easterly flow bring in all that Gulf of Mexico moisture in the basin. Some rain showers in the trans Pecos earlier, dwindling down in intensity. Yesterday afternoon, we did see some storms fire off across the basin, including West Odessa. Midland, unfortunately, you guys missed out yesterday, but that may not be the case later today. We do have more ingredients for storms because of more of that easterly flow and more clouds producing potentially more rainfall in many parts of the basin. Current temperature in the tall city itself, 72 degrees, partly cloudy skies. The sun is going to rise within the next half an hour. And as that sun rises, temperatures warming up in the upper 80s, lower 90s with still humid conditions throughout the day. Current relative humidity right around 61% with fairly light winds right now. However, those winds are going to start picking up later this afternoon into the evening hours, predominantly from the easterly direction, especially in the southern basin and winds sustain around at times 20 to 30 miles per hour but later this evening we do see really that easterly flow kicking in bringing in a lot of clouds and where those winds start to circle closer together that's where there's convergence in the atmosphere that's another mechanism for storms that we could be seeing later today but for the first half of the day mostly rain free conditions temperatures starting off in the upper 60s lower 70s for the morning commute warming up in the upper 70s and lower 80s by noon, partly cloudy skies. Then more clouds return with higher chances of rainfall by the afternoon commute, mid to upper 80s and low to mid 90s. So as much as still five to 10 degrees below normal for the summer of year with humid and breezy conditions. Later this evening, temperatures dropping the 70s and lower 80s. It depends on where those storms really fire off to see how cool it will get late right around dinner time. But before then, upper 80s and low to mid 90s, again, below normal for this time of year, close to the mid 90s in the Trans Pecos and also the Rio Grande, but basin wide temperatures overnight dropping in the upper 60s, low to mid 70s, close to normal for this time of year, if not slightly below normal. Low temperature tonight, right around 69 degrees. Isolated storms ending before midnight for the most part with those winds from the east northeast fairly light around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Most storms firing off right around 2, 3, 4 o'clock. Those yellows and oranges indicate strong winds and the main threat flash flooding. And that's something that we could be seeing getting fairly close to the Midland and Odessa area moving off into the eastern part of the basin later this evening before mostly ending by midnight. For tomorrow morning, it's going to be another muggy one, upper 60s, lower 70s. Those winds starting to switch a little bit more from the southerly direction, bringing in slightly warmer air tomorrow afternoon in the low to mid 90s. So today, 89 degrees in the tall city, 92 degrees tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, mid to upper 90s later this week. And for a 4th of July weekend, closer to normal temperatures with humid conditions, but mostly rain free conditions again in the mid to upper 90s.